The Z parameters of the two port network shown in the figure are 40, 60, 80 and 100 ohms. The average power delivered to the load resistance RL which is 20 ohms in watts is and this is the two port network and we are required to find the power delivered to the load resistance RL which is equal to 20 ohms. And uh, before I provide you the solution, I want you to pause this video and try to solve this question on your own. I hope you are done and now we will understand the solution. We know the 4Z parameters of this two port network and uh, therefore we can write the set of equations we have in case of Z parameters and the first equation will be V1 equal to 40 multiplied to the input current I1 plus 60 multiplied to the output current I2. This is our equation number 1 and the second equation will be voltage V2 equal to 80 multiplied to I1 plus 100 multiplied to current I2 and this is our equation number 2 and uh, now I will apply KVL in this loop we will have plus V2 plus RL multiplied to I2 equal to 0 plus V2 plus RL which is 20 ohms multiplied to I2 equal to 0 or we can say that the output voltage V2 is equal to negative of 20 times the output current I2 and uh, let us say that this is our third equation and uh, now we will put V2 equal to negative of 20 I2 from equation number 3 here in equation number 2 and uh, therefore we will have minus 20 I2 equal to 80 I1 plus 100 I2 and uh, when you simplify this you will have current I2 equal to minus 2 over 3 current I1 and uh, this is our fourth equation. Now moving on to the next step we will put I2 equal to this from equation number 4 here in equation number 1 and therefore we will have voltage V1 equal to 40 I1 plus 60 multiplied to minus 2 over 3 I1. When you simplify this you will find voltage V1 is equal to 0. We are doing all these calculations to find out current I2 because once we have current I2 we can find out the power delivered. It will be square of current I2 multiplied to the load resistance and uh, we have found V1 is equal to 0 and we have found I2 is equal to negative of 2 over 3 I1. So if we can find I1 then we can have I2 and finally we can have the power delivered and uh, therefore to find I1 I will apply KVL in this loop. We will have plus 20 minus 10 I1 minus V1 equal to 0 plus 20 minus 10 I1 minus V1 equal to 0 and we have found V1 is 0. So we have current I1 it is equal to 2 amperes and this implies current I2 is equal to minus 4 over 3 amperes and therefore the power delivered to the load resistance will be 16 over 9 multiplied to 20. When you solve it, you will get the power delivered is equal to 35.56 watts.